In this video we're going to take a look at a neat feature of Excel called Autofill. Autofill is not something you choose from a menu. Um, you know, it's not an explicit command. Uh, what it does is it lets you easily fill in common sequences. For example, if I type in a day of the week in a cell, select that cell, go to the lower right hand corner and get my black fill handle, and let's drag that down for 20 rows. Uh, Excel knows that if I copy Monday to the next row, I want Tuesday and then Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and so on. So it automatically uh, fills in the days for you. It doesn't matter which day you start with, uh, it'll automatically fill them in for you. Uh, it also knows three letter abbreviations for the days of the week. Now if I try some other variation of a weekday, a two letter abbreviation or you know, a four-letter abbreviation or something like that, it's not going to work. All Excel recognizes is the full name of the day or a three-letter abbreviation for the day. Uh, it also knows about months. If I type in the name of any month, it will fill in the rest of the names for me. And I need to make this a little bit wider here. Uh, and the same thing applies with three-letter abbreviations and I don't even have to get off of the cell here I can just uh, I don't even have to hit enter I can go get the fill handle and fill it in so Excel recognizes uh, months either the full names or three letter abbreviations for the names uh, it also does something else that's kinda neat uh, if I have a sequence of numbers and I want to continue that sequence I don't have to type them all in I don't even have to put formulas in all I have to do is type the first two and Excel will automatically copy the rest in for me. Now, you notice when I did that, uh, I'm going to do a control Z here to undo that. Uh, I selected both cells. Uh, what a lot of people forget to do the first time they do this is to select both of them. And if you only select one of them, that's all you get. You get that same number over and over again. So you got to remember to select two of them and click and drag and it'll give you any sequence of numbers. Doesn't matter where you start. And it doesn't even matter if the numbers are whole numbers or not. Remember to select both of them. Click and drag. And what Excel does is, uh, the reason you have to select two of them is it looks at the difference between those first two. So I'm adding one on to get from this cell to this cell. So it knows you're supposed to add one all the way down. Same thing here. Here I'm adding 0.25 on, so it knows I'm supposed to add 0.25 on all the way down. Now when you do something like this, because the default format is general, the numbers look kind of funny, so the easy thing to do here is select those numbers, and let's give them all the same number of decimal places. And actually, let's, let's do something interesting here. Let's, um, we've all been selected. Let's decrease the number of decimal places, and keep your eye on this 5.75 when I do. It becomes 5.8 because it can only show one decimal place. That's all I've asked it to show. The number is still 5.75, but what's, actually, what's displayed is 5.8, and that can cause some problems sometimes, so you probably want to make sure that you're displaying all of the decimal places that you care about. Now, if I change this again, keep your eye on the 5.5 and the 5.8. If I decrease the number of decimal places again, they all get rounded to the nearest whole number. So uh, be really careful about the number of decimal places that you display. You can get some misleading results if you don't. So it doesn't matter what the numbers are. You just give it the first two in a sequence, and it will continue to add on whatever the difference is between those two to get subsequent numbers. Uh, you can even put labels in front of the numbers. Um, let's say that um, I'm keeping track of test scores. I can put test 1. And if I get my fill handle and drag it down, it'll do test 2 all the way through test 20. And again, you can put any number here on the end, and it'll simply add one on to get the subsequent ones. Um, and it doesn't matter where I start here. Um, it will simply add one onto the numbers and preserve the label for me. Um, there is one exception to this. If I put a Q in front of a number, 
gets up to four, it starts over. And that's because it interprets Q as standing for quarter. Um, and it will also recognize uh, QTR. And it doesn't matter where you start here or whether you put a space in between. You notice I didn't put a space over here. Um, gets up to four, it starts over again. And the other one is it recognizes the entire word. So anytime you want uh, days of the week, months of the year, any sequence of numbers, you know, with or without a label or quarter headings, autofill is the way to do it. You don't need to type all that stuff in. It's a really neat feature of it.